Hi everyone, my name is Sonika. I'm 17, and yes, I am that classic Indian girl who dreams of becoming a doctor one day. I swear, it's like we were born with two options, the scrubs and scalpels, or the crushing weight of disappointment. Okay, okay, that was a joke. Well, sort of. But seriously, I am lucky. My parents have always been supportive of my goals, whatever they may be. It just so happens that I chose medicine. Now, getting to the point of why I'm here. Somewhere, somewhere in my experience, shadowing multiple doctors and volunteering at hospitals, I vividly remember this day, which started off pretty standard, you know? Refilling glove dispensers, pretending not to get lost in the hallways. I remember just walking into the storage room and there were just mountains of single-use everything. Gloves, gowns, masks, syringes, you name it. And as I wheel out this cart of biohazard bags taller than me, I thought, wait, this is just one hospital on one day. And we're throwing away enough plastic to wrap around the word world twice. That's pretty scary. That's when I realized something was pretty scary. My dream job of becoming a doctor one day might just make me part of the problem. Like, am I gonna save a patient from asthma only to contribute to the air pollution that got them sick in the first place? Now that ties me to my final point here, and that is that no one really warns us that the hardest part of medicine might just be its carbon footprint. Now, let's talk about the healthcare industry, shall we? We don't often view hospitals as polluters ever. They're places of healing, of hope. We walk in to get better, not to worry about melting ice caps or rising sea levels. But here's a reality. If the global healthcare sector was one country, it would be the fifth largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world. Fifth. That's right behind China, the US, India, and Russia. Just let that sink in for a moment. That's terrifying. The very system meant to protect human health is also quietly undermining it through emissions, waste, human consumption, energy consumption. Every year, US hospitals alone generate five million tons of waste. And most of it is incinerated, by the way, releasing toxic pollutants into the air, contributing not only to climate change, but to res worsening respiratory conditions like asthma and heart disease the very things that we are trying to treat. Even life-saving tools, like inhalers, for example, carry a hidden cost. The propellants are toxic greenhouse gases, some thousands of times stronger than carbon dioxide. So while they're essential for breathing, they also worsen and literally make the entire environment and they damage the very air that we breathe. And the energy. Hospitals never sleep. MRI machines are on 24-7. Operating rooms are lit and cooled. And the endless sterilization cycles. All powered by electricity. Much of it still coming from fossil fuels to this day. And this made me realize that healthcare doesn't just respond to climate change. It also contributes to it. It's like putting out a fire with one hand and pouring gasoline in it with another. So I had to ask myself a question. If I become a doctor one day, how can I practice medicine responsibly in a world where saving my patient could come at the cost of the planet? That question haunted me. 
And it's precisely the reason I'm standing here today. Now, when I first learned about how much damage healthcare can really cause, I felt stuck. I mean, I literally felt powerless. I'm just a high schooler, you know? I don't run a hospital. I don't sit on a climate policy board. I don't even know how to parallel park. So out of all people, what could I possibly do? But then I realized something. We don't have to wait until we're doctors to start asking better questions. We don't have to wait until we have degrees to start asking questions like, why aren't hospitals switching to renewable energy? Why is sustainability treated as an elective rather than a necessity in med medical training? And finally, why are patients given disposable everything, even when it's not medically necessary? And most importantly, why is none of this being talked about? Why haven't I learned this in biology class or my hospital volunteering orientation? Why did it take for me to stumble across numerous articles and watch obscure TED Talks at 2 a.m. for me to even realize the kind of damage that healthcare has? And the truth is that many healthcare professionals, they aren't always trained to know how to, they are trained to know how to save lives and they can do so much more, but they aren't always trained to know how to protect the very institutions that make life possible, like clean air and clean water and clean energy. This realization didn't make me turn away from medicine, but it helped me view it more critically and with more compassion. At some point, I stopped seeing my realization as a crisis. But instead, of, instead, I see it more as a call. A call to not give up on my personal interest of medicine, but to reshape it. And the truth is, this change is already happening. We see it. Um, there are hospitals out there installing rooftop solar panels. Some are redesigning their facilities to be more energy efficient. Some are rethinking supply chains and investing in low carbon pharmaceuticals. And there are systems in the UK committed to going fully net zero. That's massive. But here's the thing. Progress is still slow. And we don't have time for slow. Climate change is happening now. It's not waiting for us to finish out med school. It's not pausing while we take our SATs or apply, finish applying to college. The earth is heating now. People are suffering now. And if people and the planet want a future together where we're both thriving, we need, then we need to stop treating healthcare and sustainability as two separate conversations. We need to take action on all levels. Hospitals need to have sustainability officers, people whose full-time job is committed to, make health, to making healthcare greener. Pharmaceutical and supply companies should be more transparent behind the emissions that their products leave behind. And finally, planetary health should be taught as a core concept in med school training, not just an optional seminar. And the truth is, we, this isn't just about big institutions. This is about all of us. And while it's easy to blame big institutions, and don't get me wrong, they should be held fully accountable for everything that's happening. But we also need to learn to take responsibility in the smaller, personal ways that ripple outward. So yes, use that inhaler, take that medication, get that treatment. Your health matters. But also ask questions like, why haven't they started creating cleaner options for all this? 
And what role can I play in pushing for them? So, here I am, 17, a high schooler, obviously not a doctor, not yet in college. I'm still figuring out how to balance my dance rehearsals with calculus homework. But I have realized something. I don't have to wait till I have a degree to be intrigued and to care about the world that I'm about to inherit. And neither do you, although most of you in this room are, have degrees and are much older than me. But seriously, I used to believe that being a doctor meant saving lives one by one. But now I know it's all, it also means fighting for a world where everyone can drink safe water, everyone can breathe clean air, and everyone can live on a planet that's not on fire. My generation is growing up in the middle of a climate crisis. We see it, we feel it, we hear it, it's everywhere. And we refuse to look away. So, if you happen to remember anything from today, please just let it be this. Sustainability isn't separate from healthcare. Sustainability is healthcare. And every step that we take towards healing the planet is a step that we can take towards healing ourselves. Thank you.